Alright guys, welcome back. Today's lesson is gonna be brief and like I said from the beginning of our sessions, Interpono was an introduction to ETAP. Gradually we'll be dealing with all the modes in ETAP, getting to know them one by one. So far we've been on online diagrams and we've also gone a little on load flow analysis. So today, we'll be looking at this icon here, the system dumpster. So, what is a dumpster? The dumpster is where, the dumpster is actually where anything you delete from this workspace goes to before it is permanently deleted by you. So today we'll be looking at one of the applications of the dumpster from our previous example, which was this. Now. For today's lesson, we are going to extend bus 1 to the right. Remember how to extend, you click and then when you see this arrow, you drag. So now after extending that, we we'll select from T1, Lump 1, Cable 1, T2 bus 4 and lamp 2 so let's go I hope it doesn't get the gen yeah then we copy ctrl C now after copying observe it comes directly to the system dumpster this is what I just copied I can choose to delete it and it's gone permanently or let's try that again and let me show you an application of it a quick one so ctrl c to copy and then watch it's here now in the case of where we are dealing with the same topology of the network we don't have to go and start drain all this again connecting to bus one all we have to do is to right click you can see move from dumpster and we click on it and it appears this is the network and i come down and we can see i've already connected it so just arrange it a little to look organized, let's extend the bus, bus one a little to the right. Yeah, I think it's looking more or less like a complex network gradually. And next thing I'm gonna teach you is how to change. Remember, I told you about the node buses and I explained why they are automatically created due to the fact that. A cable and a transformer are both impedance elements and to indicate the voltage drop between both impedance elements, ETAP has to use a bus because voltage drops are shown on the buses when you run the load flow analysis. So now we are going to change the bus 4 and bus 5 from a node bus to a normal bus like this. But then, if you notice, anytime I click any element, they are all selected. Which means if I want to work on one particular element, I'll have to alter all other elements. But you can just click on it and right click. You see group elements. You have to ungroup it so you can select them one by one anyone you prefer now changing the bus let's say bus 4 is the node bus i will click on it right click you can see here where they put bus slash node and you come over here and you click this it automatically turns to a dash dash bus come to bus 5 and do the same thing same thing 
So now I'm going to teach you about tiebreakers. Now we're going to insert a tiebreaker between bus 4 and bus 5. Sorry. Let's extend bus 4 and 5 towards each other. Now, what is a tiebreaker? This is a low voltage circuit breaker. And then I'm going to rotate it. Yeah. Yeah. And then I connect it to both buses. Yeah. Now this here is a tiebreaker because it connects these two branches. If you observe here and here are two different branches. What connects them now is this bus that connects the two and also this breaker, this circuit breaker. That's why it's called a tiebreaker and this like i said today's lesson will be short so that's basically all for today you know next lesson we are going to start getting deeper into it uh, stay tuned don't forget to subscribe share the video to your friends and turn on notifications so you get notified once we upload a new video thanks for watching